Mississippi and South Carolina, but police have refused any comment. Four people have been arrested for stripping and stealing the Elder Jordan's cart found last week in Fayetteville, North Carolina. None of those charged are said to be murder suspects. Jordan's body was found August 3rd. The Jordan family has released a statement saying they are shocked by the sudden loss. They're withholding further comment while the investigation is underway. Or in Lumberton, North Carolina, Mr. Jordan uh, had pulled off the side of the road uh, to obviously to rest for a while, and he was shot to death while in his car and was taken to the state of South Carolina and placed into the swamp where he was found. Police findings seem to confirm the idea that they had yesterday that this was merely a random act of violence and not a premeditated murder. Again, throughout the morning, we'll continue to bring you the latest information we have on the arrest of two suspects in the murder of James Jordan. Now, private funeral services will be held this afternoon in Wallace, North Carolina. James Jordan, the father of basketball superstar Michael Jordan, Larry Demery and Daniel Green also face charges of armed robbery and conspiracy to commit armed robbery. Their next court appearance is set for September 3rd, given to his father. Police are still searching for the murder weapon. Well, I will not say that we have a confession. I don't use that word, but I will give you uh, that we do have statements from both families. The gun do you have a murder weapon we do not have the gun in our possession at this time we're still working on that to recover the gun a private two 18 year olds accused of murdering the father of basketball star michael jordan appeared in court daniel green who had already spent time in jail for assault and larry demery who was under indictment for armed robbery are good friends they are both being held without bail abc's jim hickey is in north carolina jordan family at all as the two teenagers arrived for their appearance in Robinson County Court, North Carolina investigators said they had concrete evidence linking Daniel Green and Larry Demery to the murder of James Jordan. After questioning the suspects, deputies said they found a National Basketball Association all-star ring in a plastic bag, hidden in a rural part of the county. Michael Jordan apparently had given the ring to his father. These uh, two defendants did have, or was with, uh, Mr. Jordan at one point in time because that we do know where that ring come from it did uh, belong or was in the possession of mr jordan according to authorities jordan was killed along this stretch of north carolina highway in the early morning hours of july 23rd driving to charlotte he apparently had pulled over to rest and was shot in his car police say the teenagers dumped his body in a south carolina swamp about 60 miles away investigators say the two teenagers did not set out specifically to murder james jordan but that he just happened to be their victim when they went looking for someone to rob. The suspects apparently made several calls from the telephone in Jordan's luxury car. That's how detectives tracked them down. Do you want to yes, in court, Demery and Green said very little, but Demery, at one point, appeared to be weeping. This was merely a preliminary appearance. Their pleas of guilt or innocence will come later. Jim Hickey, ABC News, Lumberton, North Carolina. He's quickly... Rogers would not go into detail, but this is a complete switch from his stance on Tuesday when he told a Raleigh TV station that Green was the trigger man. The slaying perhaps occurred at the hands of third parties, not Mr. Demery, not Mr. Green. So are you saying that, that your, your client and Mr. Green may have stumbled across a corpse? There may very well be some evidence that that would be the case, yes ma'am. North Carolina authorities maintain there is no mistake and that, quote, we've got the right people. Tests on a 38 caliber gun believed to be the murder weapon could link the suspects to the killing. Results of the test are expected next week. See suburb. Word is Michael is planning a press conference Saturday morning at 8 a.m., the first time he will directly address the public since the murder of his father. Says he questions concerning the death of his father. Jordan just wanted to relax and be around friends. He said he and his family are coping well in the aftermath of the trauma. I haven't really made. Uh my definite plans for the rest of the summer. Uh, I think this was just more or less uh, a testing thing for me to come and see how well I can respond again for the summer. And uh, right now, you know, it's, everything's tender for my schedule from this point on, but uh, I just wanted to come and see how uh, I could react in these circumstances again. Do you have to consider preseason at this point, either? 
Basketball? I haven't even thought about basketball. I didn't even think about basketball be before all this happened. So, uh, you know, right now it's just a summer relaxing and enjoying the company that I am in right now. Uh, it was a lot of times where I didn't know if I was going to make it here. And uh, I know I've committed myself, but uh, under the circumstances, uh, I really didn't know. And I knew some of the people, and Rose gave me a list of the people that were going to be here. And, you know, it's good people to be around, especially when you need that, that support. Now, we're, we're together, we're bonded, and uh, naturally it's tough for anybody to swallow, not just my family, any, any family that has this type of circumstances to do with. ...had given him the most support since his father's death. Yesterday, the Charlotte Observer reported that Hugh Rogers, the attorney for one of the teenagers accused of killing James Jordan, has new information concerning the case. Rogers now believes that the two suspects are innocent, that someone else murdered James Jordan, and then the two teens stumbled upon the Jordan's car, uh, James Jordan's car. He declined to give further detail. Good morning, everyone. I'm Robin Roberts with an ESPN special report. In just a few moments, Michael Jordan will speak publicly for the first time since his father's tragic death. Jordan is in Leesburg, Virginia, taking part in the Rose Elder Invitational Golf Tournament, and he will conduct a live press conference in just a few moments. Now, on Thursday, Jordan issued a public statement through his attorney, David Falk of Washington, D.C., and through that statement, Michael Jordan has said he was disturbed and outraged by the media's handling of the recent murder of his father. Two North Carolina teenagers have been charged with the murder of James Jordan. Uh, Jordan also expressed his displeasure with the speculation in the media involving his father's death. Again, Michael Jordan will speak publicly for the first time since his father's murder, murder in just a few minutes in Leesburg, Virginia. We'll have that live press conference for you when it happens. Right now, let's go back to our regularly scheduled program. Ultimate See, health. Jordan, looking casual in his golf attire, kept things lighthearted and talked about the support he's gotten in the past week. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I think Jim Thorpe took me out for a nice, nice little lesson last night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I'm really, I'm telling you, it's like being around good friends. And when you have some, uh, you know, some problems in your life, or you, know, you need to be around some, a good support system. And uh, these people have done a good job in support. I just got to move forward. And Tom Steiner is here with sports. And Michael Jordan seems to be dealing with the tragedy of his father's death quite well. Yeah, he says he and his family are coping very well in the aftermath of the, uh, his father's tragic death. And uh, Michael Jordan faced the cameras in a packed news conference this morning. But the media was asked to limit their questions to the benefit tournament he is playing in this weekend in suburban Washington, D.C. Jordan said he committed to this Pro-Am event and wanted to keep his word. Besides, being around quality people in time of need only aids in the recovery process. When you have some... Uh some problems in your life or you, know, you need to be around some, a good